Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. In this episode, I'm starting a new series called In the Driver's Seat. Uh, and my first guest today and in this episode is none other than Mr. Kev T. Hello, Kev. How you doing? Hi. Pleasure Hi, to be here. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, very well, thank you. Very well. Coping with so, lockdown, you know, how it is. Yeah, yeah. So you, you've actually been on furlough for a while, haven't you? I was on furlough, yeah, for three weeks. And then I come back again. See. Um, but yeah, it, the company had to take three weeks to make adjustments and, and, you know, get used to the new regime. Yeah, see, through the whole the whole thing, I haven't actually started working yet. So I do oh, yeah, it yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was nice when I was off for three weeks and I was, you know, communicating with you guys, working away. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for rubbing that in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the whole the whole point of this is um, obviously we've we've discussed this. I want to have some sort of new sort of series on my channel whereby I interview vloggers, you know, much like myself, and get to know them. And I mean, I know you quite well, obviously, because we're quite good friends, aren't we? We are indeed. Yeah, we talk every day, don't we? And yeah, but and um, we have each other, and you know. Yeah, <laughs> and um, obviously, I just want to like you know get to know you maybe some more, and you know. Help some Ooh. other people get oh, to <laughs> Yeah, no, not not quite like that. I mean, there was that one time in Norway, but let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I mean, I've got a list of questions. Um, we're going to start off the bat with, what did you do before you were a truck driver? Oh, what do you mean, work-wise or personal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, let's go. Let's go work-wise on that one. Work-wise. Okay. Um, before I was a truck driver, uh, I was a project manager for a MOD subcontractor. Um, we used to uh, work on maybe all the uh, all the buildings and do all the maintenance and stuff like that. Um, the biggest part of that that I used to enjoy was having to travel from site to site all around the southwest. Um, and it was the driving that I realised that I enjoyed. So hence the natural progression when I got made redundant to uh, start becoming a HUV driver, but Previous to that, I worked for the MOD um, on the army tanks uh, as a civil servant. Um, and before that, I was doing recovery for 10 years. Hence why my recent adjustment into the position that I'm doing now. So it's, it has all kind of, kind of like tied in together then? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's all roundabout sort of come about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you worked at the MOD, did you like ever wear a hazmat suit or anything like that? Uh, no, I didn't have to wear a hazmat suit. I wore a helmet, like a tank helmet and stuff. Um, and we have to wear we have to wear respirators and stuff like that at times. But no, no hazmat suits. So you said um, you when you were driving, you sort of found your love for that. So is that what made you want to become a truck driver? Why did you, yeah, why, why did yeah. you decide trucks? Exactly. You know, I've I've always liked trucks and stuff. Like, you know, it's big boys' toys, isn't it? So um, I've I've always enjoyed trucks. I was going to truck fest before I even passed my test, and you know, stuff like that. So when I realised that I, I evaluated when I made redundant what part of the job that I enjoyed of my previous employment, and it was the driving that I used to enjoy the most. So uh, the natural step for me then was to do my HGV, and uh, yeah, here we are today. So how long have you been driving for now, like trucks? Uh, been driving trucks four years, I think. I don't know, I lost count. It's, it just yeah, seems to fly by so quick. Huh? I said, I think I'm the same. I think it's about four or five years. Some, yeah, something like I think you, you passed your class two just before me, but I class my, passed my class one just before you. Yeah, you had to beat me to it, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at that, at that time, we didn't really know each other, though, did we? I well, we didn't, because I didn't start vlogging until I passed my class one. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, because my, my, the earliest videos of yours I've seen were class one. I haven't seen any class two, so... No, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I never really drove class two until I started this job. I, I did a little bit now and again when I was working for TWC, um, but not, not really. This so is why, my first probably full-time class two job. Why didn't you do any vlogging then when you were doing class two work? Any particular reason, or...? Because uh, I didn't start with class two. Oh, you just got your license and then sort of went straight to class yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I I passed my class two, and then like two or three weeks later, I passed my class one, and then went straight on to bulk tippers. See, with me, I think I passed my class two. I don't know the years. It was like 2016, I think, maybe 2015. Yeah. But it was a good year, a good year afterwards until I'd done my class one. Yeah, because I remember you doing all your tipper work for a good year, watching you doing that. Okay, which brings me quite nicely onto my next question. Why did you start vlogging then? Um, because when I started 
involved working with TWC, which involved going into uh, a lot of, um, uh, I can't remember what you call them now, like distribution centers and stuff like that. Um, and there was a lot of downtime. And when I started uh, doing my HGV test, there wasn't a lot on YouTube. There was bits and bobs, like you had done a bit, and I think Trucker J had done a bit. Um, but I just wanted to sort of fill in the gaps and use that all that spare time that you get when you're doing RDC work um, and waiting around for hours and hours. And I thought, well, I'll try and do something with myself. And, 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 and at the time, I was watching um, a lot of car stuff on YouTube, which tends to have a lot of cinematics and, you know, a lot of, of editing. And I thought that well, there's no one really doing that on YouTube. So I thought I'd try and sort of plug that gap and go for a different angle than you guys were. Yeah, I remember you coming onto the scene and I was like, wow, look at these. This guy's got some <laughs> decent looking vlogs. I remember asking you actually, like, what camera did. equipment you use and stuff, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Before we even know each other. Uh, <coughs> I think we spoke a couple of times in the, in the comments. But yeah, you were then asking my advice and stuff like that. Because before I'd started vlogging, I'd done like so much research on how to edit and stuff like that because I wanted my um, my first videos from the get go to be spot on. But looking back on them now, they, they were far from that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always the same though, isn't it? When you look back at your old videos, I cringe looking at my old yeah, videos. <laughs> I, I it, yeah. I've actually made yeah. a lot of my videos private <laughs> and then listen. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, please, um, please, please, halfway through this, don't turn around and say, "Right, let's have a look at one of your early." Ones. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> what, what what do you vlog about now? Then, like, obviously, you say that you know it's different to what it used to be. What, what, why are they better now? Uh, because I'm a lot less awkward on camera. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's what I mean. Think getting used to on camera. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and you, you get used to the, the editing, and you know, you, you just get a lot more proficient in, in your craft. So talking of editing, how long does it take you to edit? Because I know personally, I used to spend no longer than like an hour. I know it's gone up more now. We're talking like three hours, maybe four. But yeah. I think you spend, you spend quite a lot longer than that, don't you? Yeah, mine usually tend to be about six or seven hours an episode. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I go a long-winded way about it, but um, I, I think I'm just too much of a perfectionist as well. And, you know, I just, yeah, it, it takes a long time. <laughs> I think personally, I start off spending time on the video, and then halfway through, I'm like, "Oh, I'm getting bored now." Let's just like get bored of it, yeah. <laughs> finish the video. I think that's why people have really good intros, and then the video just ends. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first cut scenes are like really good, and then as you go through it, it sort of dwindles off, doesn't it? You just like, yeah, I want to get this video out now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> one one of the other things I wanted to ask you, and you know this about me, but I have a bit of a bugbear with channel names, don't I? Yes, you do. I, yeah. I can't stand yeah. it when people call themselves trucker and then yeah. something. I mean, you know, it does tell you what you are. It, you know, it says what what's in the tin, so to speak. Yeah. But you've you've got quite um what's the word? Um can't think of the word now. Unique? That's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's the, <laughs> you've got a unique name. Um talk yeah. me through that. Why did you choose Kev T? Um because I didn't want to tie myself to trucking because I know that through time, my interests changed um, I, and I might not always be in the trucking industry. So the first thing is I didn't want to tie myself to the trucking industry. So I didn't want to be Kev T trucking or, or I, although I am on my Instagram handles, I didn't want my YouTube to be, um, or I didn't want to be Kev T in a, U, in a HGV or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I didn't want to use my real name. Obviously I like to use an alias. Uh, Although that's wait, your name's not Kev. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the first bit's fine, <laughs> um, but obviously the bigger you get, it, it's more difficult to keep it an alias. <laughs> um, but I used to be called KT a lot uh, when I was younger, um, so yeah, I just adapted that really into oh, KT. KT. Okay, I like KT, that. Yes, I was, yeah. <laughs> never knew yeah. that. It's got a feminine edge to it, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you do? Like dress up on a weekend? Or <laughs> no, it's my initials. Just I, know, I know that. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what your most popular video is on your YouTube channel? Uh, I do actually. It's my my uh, quite a recent video actually. When I got uh, pulled over by the DVSA. Yeah, it's got. I had a look. It's got over two hundred and seventy thousand views. Wow! Like, I think last time I looked at it, it was just under two fifty. Yeah, you've done bangingly well out of that video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I, I I didn't expect it to do anything like that. 
I remember you because uh, obviously those of the those of the, those of people who don't know we've got a group chat, haven't we? Yeah, so, yeah. And I remember you saying, uh, you know, guys, I'm, <laughs> I've just been pulled, and yes. I was like, film it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I said, don't worry, it's rolling. <laughs> yeah, it was like you already went ahead. Just happened vlog day, and it, it, it's so rare that it works out like that, isn't it? Where you have something happen. Um, usually something happens and then you have to start filming and think, ah, this was a good opportunity. Yeah, exactly. It just happens that luckily that day, it was a vlog day because sometimes, you know, half the time, you know, we're not vlogging, are we? We're probably vlogging about less Less than 10%. 10. Yeah, less than 10, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that was just a fluke of luck, that was. It was good though, good video. And it like it shows like that DVSA aren't just out to get you, you know, they're they're, exactly. they're doing they're there for a reason, aren't they, at the end of the day? Yeah, That's the way I see yeah, it. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You know, I've had um so many I've I've had a few companies actually approach me and say, you know, can we use this uh, in our company training? Because a lot of our guys haven't been pulled over by DVSA and we want to show them that uh, you know, they're not this big bad monster they're made out to be. Oh, that's really and, good. Yeah, you know, and uh, a lot of CPC companies um are using uh a few of my videos now including that dvsa one in their training videos uh which is which is quite good that might be why you've got two hundred and seventy thousand views then <laughs> uh no because um the cpc companies um ripped it oh have they and paid for it yeah nice 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 yeah. i want to talk catchphrases now because we've all got catchphrases yes we have yeah um what are my catchphrases do you know crack a lacking that's yeah and it's not something i set out to say it just comes out no. of my mouth. It just comes yeah. out of crack a lacking um see you in a bit i say a lot as well yeah um and you've got a catchphrase as well it's not really a catchphrase it's more of a noise isn't it, it yeah it was something that you you did a lot when yeah. I, when i was first getting to know you yeah uh and what just for those at home what is that catchphrase <laughs> yeah <laughs> um everyone like worldwide now is like oh kev's just finished a vlog <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um where were we we, we were at daft weren't we um we, yes. were seeing, we were seeing how they were being built yeah where was, where was that is that up lancaster wait wasn't it? Adnan, wasn't it? no la- no Ad- is it? no it's um leyland didn't it that's it leyland yeah so we went up there we were we had to look to see how the daft trucks were made from start to finish which was pretty cool actually wasn't it it was good, yeah. Yeah, really good trip that was. And um, Stravros was there as well, wasn't he? And Stravros, mm-hmm. bless him. He's, by the way, Stravros, I love him. He's a cracking bloke, isn't he? We've met him a few times. Now he's a box of frogs, isn't he? <laughs> he's just like he is on his videos. <laughs> but 100 miles an hour all the time. Yeah, exactly that. And he was... Um, he tiring. Went, Pardon? He said he's tiring. He, he, yeah, I remember um, when we were, where were we? We were in Scotland and we were outside, weren't we, talking for about yeah. 25 minutes. And I was like... Should we go in? Yeah. <laughs> get a drink. <laughs> but yeah, we were at, we were at DAF and um, he was doing he was doing some filming, wasn't he? He was um, coming out of a DAF truck. Yeah, he uh, was filming that big black limited edition one, wasn't he? Or that's the, it. The yeah, that was it. And he, he got out and he and he, he and in his video you can see us. We were all there standing watching him. Yeah. And at the end he goes, "Cheers!" And I remember looking at you and I'm like, "That's your catchphrase." You turn around to me and you went, "You went." Why is he doing your catchphrase? I, I had then, no idea that he did that. I went, yeah, <laughs> I went, it's, it's, it's not really my catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> it was an awkward but, moment, but I never yeah. forget that. It was hilarious. I know, and everyone asks me about that, and everyone thinks that um, that I copy or, or take the mick out of Stavros. Everyone thinks I'm taking the mick out of Stavros at the end of my videos, and it wasn't that. What it comes back down to is um, before I was before I started vlogging, I used to watch a, car, a lot of car YouTubers um, and supercar YouTubers. And one of the biggest in the UK is Shmi150. And he does a cheers at the end of his video. And I'd sort of just done, you know, an, an advancement of that and just started doing it and just started doing a, a big cheers at the end of my videos. And then about eight months into it, I found Stavros, started watching his videos. And I was like, well, What's this all about? Why is like, he doing a big cheers? It's coincidence that you've got the same catchphrase, yeah. yeah. He, he does this big cheers. And then I went back and he was doing it for years before <laughs> I started it. And I was like, oh, no. And several times I've t- tried 
to wean the channel or wean it off the channel. But every time I do it, the, the comments are just full with, where's the cheers? We want the cheers, bring the cheers back. And then I do it and then everyone's like, yeah, cheers are back, way. And yeah, just, I've, I've been looking for your comments and you do, you get asked an awful lot. Where's the cheers? Where's the yeah. cheers? Yeah, and exactly. I, I, you've done it on the last couple of videos. Maybe I have, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I tried to get out of it, and then I've started doing it again because everyone loves it. So I've got to give, got to give the fans what they want. You want to get a T-shirt made up and just say cheers. I know, cheers, not Stavros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, um, in the background there, you can see that you've got a Volvo FH4 Globetrotter XL. What's that about? Oh, yes, this baby. Yeah, well, it, th that all came about when I was in lockdown. Um, um, we were furloughed, nothing to do. I had no, well, I, I did have content um, because I, I built up a bit of a backlog. Uh, so I had about four, four or five videos that I could do. But I quickly realized that there was a lot of people who were also locked down and bored um, and who had a hunger for YouTube content. So uh, on top of releasing my weekend videos that is my normal schedule, I thought I'd try and build a model. And uh, because I, when I when I first started putting out the content over lockdown, I was doing things like cleaning the car and cutting the lawn, and I, I thought it's a trucking channel, or, or you know that's the, that's the mainly what my viewers are. I can't. Keep, yeah, I saw the lawn video. <laughs> yeah, I can't keep doing house maintenance. I've got. I need to do something trucking related. So, you know, this thing here popped into my head, and I thought, wow, and I can I can do some daily content. Yeah. Um, just so happens that five episodes in, I got called to go back into work again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't you, get, you got called on a Thursday, didn't you? It was like, uh, you're in tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had like one day's notice that I was coming back. And, I, said, uh, I said to my mate that, I said one day's notice might be all you yeah. get. And he was like, no. And that's, that's, and that, that's as far as I got. But um, it does look good. It does, yeah, yeah. I'm, it, I'm still doing the build videos. Um, they're, they're just not daily now, they're sort of probably once a week now. <laughs> See, we, we've spoke about this. I don't think I would have the confidence to do that. Uh, not the confidence, the, um, the patience. patience. Yeah, the patience. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't yeah. have the patience to do that. Uh, it's just too small, too fiddly for me. I've got like oh, it's, yeah. heavy, heavy handed hands. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fat fingers. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you've been but like. No, you've got shovels. <laughs> I've got to use tweezers. <laughs> you've been painting it all as well, haven't you? Like spray painting it all outside. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've gone well overboard with it because. When I do something, I like to do it properly. So, you know, I've just gone a bit nuts. I've just noticed something. Is your um, is your Union Jack flag the wrong way around? <laughs> it is the wrong way around. Yes, you, you're right. Yeah. We, we, we were talking about this off camera, weren't we? And we we're like, we were, yeah. Someone's <laughs> yeah. going to know. <laughs> now they will. I said, yeah, I said, everyone's going to comment that the, the Union Jack's round the wrong way, but I can't be bothered to turn it round, so it's staying like it. Um, so you've got a Volvo in your background there. Uh, any yeah. other manufacturers you've worked with that people might not know about? Uh, that, I've, that I've worked with? That, um, or just in general? Just in yeah, general. well, I, I, you know, people that watch the channel know that I, I do quite a lot of Mercedes. I've got a really good working relationship with City West Commercials. So I do quite a bit with them. I've uh, done a lot of work on the, um, the new mirrorless uh, Actros. Um, Obviously, uh, I do a bit of work with Volvo as well. Um, where well, I've done the video with the, the new XXL. Um, that was a, a good opportunity. That's the one you slept in, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, you slept yeah, in yeah, there, that was, yeah. That was, yeah, that, that's like a dream cab, that is. Apart wide, from like, wide bed as well, am I right in that one? Oh, it's massive. It's Ideal huge. for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like bigger than a single, so. Yeah, it, like in the middle between a single and double. Almost. Yeah, 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 that's right. Um, yeah, and obviously we've done a bit of work with Daft. We've done the um, collaboration video with Daft, didn't we? Where we've done the um, oh the, the um, yeah the the uh, what, what was it? They called it a YouTuber challenge. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And, that was fun. Uh, out. Yeah, um, I was supposed to go over to Sweden for uh, the 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 new FH launch. Um, that's just ex exclusive. That is because I've not not spoke about that on my channel. No. But yeah, I was supposed to go to Sweden for the new FH launch, but due to coronavirus, that got cancelled and put on hold. That's um, the launch where they had the the four trucks on top of each other. Am that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That might have been good to see that. Yeah, yeah. That was like a huge opportunity, but um, yeah, that's been put on hold. But you know, Volvo have still been in touch, and they've said you know we're going to try and sort something out with the UK launch at some point. So, well, I look forward to seeing. Wait that. for all this lockdown to end 
Um, and then obviously more recently, uh, we had the, um, uh, we started working with Scania, didn't we, Luke? Yes, yeah, me and you had a good time out there, let's say, yeah. A, a jolly, a jolly to Norway. It was, it was fun. I really enjoyed it because the first time I'd ever been on an airplane. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you were like, hold, basically holding my hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was so, that, 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 that plane ride was so funny. The what video? The plane ride was, was oh, funny. The, oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Right, yeah. It was because we wouldn't sat next to each other, were we, on the way there? But on the way back, yeah. we was. But I, obviously, I'm a big lad. You know that. I know that. Yeah. Everyone knows that. And it was a bit, a bit cramped on the old seat but the seat belt went around me i didn't need the extender which i was dead pleased about wasn't i yeah no, yeah yeah because you were a bit worried about that i went i got on the plane i remember i got on the plane and i said to the stewardess i said i might i might need a belt extender and i know then, you you started whispering and yeah, you yeah. went to whisper in her ear and i was like oh what's he gonna say <laughs> and i remember i got on the plane i put it on and i was like oh no i need, I need a belt extender and then <laughs> yeah. I, I sort of breathed in squeezed it in but like they didn't come over and check no. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, yeah, I didn't need it in the end. So oh, that was, yeah, but that was just an awesome trip, wasn't it? Yeah, we met some good yes. people there and uh, had a lot of fun. Yeah, and I'll I, I tell you what, it's, it's one of the reasons why I started doing YouTube was to um, open up opportunities that, you know, people in general and Joe Public just don't get a chance to do. And trips like that to Denmark, uh, sorry, to Norway with Scania is just, you know, once in a lifetime, you know, just unbelievable it's just crazy experiences you get doing this youtube thing it just encourages you and makes you do it even more and more i enjoyed it because obviously it was snowy there wasn't it full of snow yeah. and it's just on the other side of the road and they were like right there's the keys off you go and it was food and snow you're in your element weren't you yeah i i drove uh what was it a 730 40 horsepower Seven. 730, wasn't it? And a yeah. 750, I think they had. I don't know. Like I can't remember. I can't remember. They were all in. big numbers, weren't they? Yeah, they were all powerful. First yeah. scanner they'd ever been in, they were like, right, here you go, off you go. Add like a, an excavator on the back, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Big old V8. They're, they're all, all running full weight, weren't they? Which is yeah. which is more than, than our full weight, because they run at like 50 tonnes. And they had B-double trailers and, and all sorts. But it was just being in the mountains, wasn't it? And yeah. driving through the forest in the snow and, and how those trucks drove in the snow was just phenomenal. It was like, it was just normal tarmac. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. And we were going up and down hills in the, in, in the forest in these tractor units with fully loaded. And I know I know that like winter tyres and stuff like that play a big part that we don't have over here. But still, it was massively surprising. Yeah, no, um, internally grateful for Scania for taking us out there, yeah, as with all yeah, the manufacturers we've worked with in the past, and hopefully yeah. future as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Th I think that's what I enjoy doing most, is working with the manufacturers, doing the new truck launches, and um, and yeah, just collaborating with with, uh, with brands, you know, that's, that's what I enjoy doing. So yeah, which leads me on to my next question. So not only manufacturers have you and I worked with and for, but we've also worked with brands like Chuckfest. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Um, what was your favourite truck first show? Oh, my favourite truck first. I think it's Peterborough. I really enjoyed Peterborough last year. It was amazing. That was the one where all five of us were at, wasn't it, with our trucks? We were, yeah. Freezing cold, but it was yeah. still brilliant. Yeah, good show that. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed it. I also, um, I personally, I really enjoyed the Scotland show as well. Um, I know you I know you enjoy Scotland. That would probably be a close second for me, definitely. Yeah, just that the whole atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. And done, that, a um, work, done a bit of work with Renault up there as well, which was really nice. Uh, yeah. Spent a bit of time on their stand with them. Yeah, Renault were kind enough to let us go on their stand. What was it? Um, the um, Red Hot Chili Pipers. I love that. Yes. They're amazing. Yeah. They were really good, weren't they? Any other truck yeah. shows that you work for? Huh? Any other truck shows you work for or with? Um, obviously, I do a little bit with uh, Wessex Truck Show. Um, you know, and, and, and it's, it's a shame with this coronavirus because they invited us to go and spend time all of us to go and spend time there this year but you know with all the, well, all the shows have pretty much been cancelled so far this year haven't they so i think um so yeah wessex wessex truck on. show uh come to the same the same fate unfortunately they'll have it on next year though won't they oh yeah 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 it'll, it'll always be bigger and better yeah it's like i said this this year is just a complete write-off i think 2020 oh yeah it's nightmare you know we, we've had so much planned like we had, I had the Volvo trip planned. We had all the truck fests. We had Wessex truck show. Um, and, and it's all just been wiped off the diary. And it's just, yeah, 
just have to call it a gap year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're here. We're 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 you know we're healthy. So, you know, exactly that. Good. Next question. I've got some questions for you. Do you miss oh. driving class one? Do I miss driving class one? I miss uh, I miss driving class one. I don't miss the lifestyle that goes with it. Yeah, exactly the uh, same. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I I love driving. You know, because the reason I got into trucks was, um, you know, big boys toys and all that. So the bigger the truck, you know, the better, isn't it? Uh, so you know, and I enjoy manoeuvring the class one. I enjoy driving it. You know, I even got to the point where I enjoyed driving it through central London because it was a challenge. Uh, took a long time to get to that point, mind, but we got there eventually <laughs> this this is what i was saying with regards to class one yes it's a bigger vehicle yes it's you know a little bit more scary perhaps and more worrying when you go yeah. to these places but once you've got through the other end for yeah. me personally it's like a huge a huge sigh of relief and i feel like i've achieved something oh yeah yeah it's, it's massive isn't it it's, i think it's relief more than anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but it's but good, in and out I do, I do miss class one. I personally, I can see myself going back to class one at some stage. Yeah, yeah. And the, re the only reason that I come off of class, uh, class one was because of the opportunity that arose. You know, um, regardless of whether they run class one or class two trucks, uh, I, you know, I was, I was going to move into that position. Yeah, and I, I do like your job. I've said before, like if, if they had <laughs> any races at my way, I think the oh, no, yeah. lads have said the same as it well, is, hasn't they? it is an amazing job i love it because you know i'm really into cars myself um so getting to just you know go around and tug cars around pull them around and you know sit in them start them up drive them you know it's, it's really good I, I love it and and to combine it with the trucking um you know i'm a bit of a um bit a bit of an exclusive but i've always wanted to include my love of cars in with the, with my youtube videos but i've never been able to do it um and that wasn't why I changed into this job. This job just come about and I was presented with the opportunity. So I went for it. Um, and it's just allowed me now this opportunity where I combine the trucking with my, uh, my passion of cars as well. And you're doing the vlogging as well. So it's like a dream job then really. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And it's all through, you know, none of it was planned either. It was all through coincidence. So one of the questions you get asked a lot on your YouTube channel, uh, yeah. why do you use two sat nows yes yes i do get this and i i, I need to copy and paste uh, <laughs> yeah. uh an answer because i seem to spend most of my time answering that question um yes i have a tom tom on the right hand side of the windscreen down here and i have a what do I have? Oh, a garmin there the tom tom is uh company supplied um but it also does um, all the tracking that they use um, so it includes all the tracking software um, it's also got a knock sensor in it so if you are doing harsh accelerating harsh braking it triggers that so you've always got to have that tom tom sat nav on but it's got the old mapping software on it and i don't like it i think it's rubbish it's unreliable um, and i think the garmin that i use the garmin diesel is much more superior to the TomTom -tom that I have to use. So I've got my my Garmin that I use uh, for um, the GPS and, and all the sat nav and everything else. But then I also have to have the TomTom -tom on for the company purposes. There, there we go. go. There we go. I, I'm sure you're still going to get asked later. Oh, I will do. Oh, oh, guaranteed. Every single video. <laughs> um, so. Who is your favourite YouTube channel that you watch that is... Well, let's start with non-trucking related and then we'll do a trucking related one after that. So who's your uh, favourite non-trucking related YouTube channel that you like to watch? Non-trucking related? Well, like I say, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a car nut. So uh, I watch uh, mainly car stuff. I don't tend to watch a lot of truck stuff because I do it anyway for, for a living, but there is some trucking stuff that I watch. So I mainly watch um, uh, car stuff. So... What do I watch? Uh, Mr. JWW, I watch him. Um, Seen Through Glass. Uh, there's uh, Petrol Pad. Um, but yeah, there's probably about 10 that I watch. Um, but I'm also into uh, a lot of mountain biking as well. So I watch my uh, mountain bike related channels. Uh, funnily enough, I've started watching model related channels. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> Getting all the tips and tricks, eh? <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, that's, that's probably about it. Um, uh, I watch uh, some sim uh, PC simulator stuff, uh, not so much um, truck stuff, but like uh, aviation stuff and uh, things like that, car, car racing, simulation, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I would say my most popular channel that I would watch the most of um, is probably Colin Furs, which I'm sure you've heard of. Yeah, yeah, I watch Colin. Yeah, I'd say he was probably my favourite channel, to be fair. Yeah, that's right. But he, he released a video probably like once a month or something. Yeah, I think because he spends so long making it, doesn't he? Yeah, like he does, designing yeah. The thing. They're, they are awesome videos, though. Some great editing. Yeah. So much effort. Right, we're going to play a game now. Okay. So I, I briefed you on this before we started uh, what I was going to do. So if you type in your name, Kev T, yeah. into YouTube, it comes up with a um, like suggestions. Let's say. Okay. I'm gonna. You can't see this, but I, on on my screen, the viewers can see this. All right. Okay. So, what do you think comes up after Kev T? Um, Kev T trucking is that one of them? That is one of them. That's the second most searched one. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Taco. No, Taco's not on there. No, is it not? Um, <laughs> Oh, there is a. F <laughs> Let's see if you can get two more. Uh, I can't because it usually revolves around your old videos, and I can't remember. Um, does it come up? Um, is it Kev T DVSA? Is one of them? No. 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 That's not on there. Oh. Go on, get one, one more guess. I'm doing rubbish at this game. <laughs> um. Uh, no, I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. So you got Kev T truck in. I don't, I don't. I don't tend to search my own name. So no, no, never do I. No, no, much. <laughs> so um, yeah, Kev T truck in is is on there. That was the second most searched thing. Yeah. Do you know what? The, do you know what the first is? What? Kev T crash. Oh really? Yeah. And I've you, never crashed. <laughs> no, but do you know what comes up? I bet it's the one where I was hit, where I was parked up in the services. That's it. I remember you, yeah, because you were uh, in the morning, you went on the group chat, you were like, guys, I've, I've, I've been it. <laughs> I was rudely awoken at like yeah. four o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that's what that one's about. Um, and the others, I'll just go through them and I'm just go back yeah. to you. I've got your intro music playing now. <laughs> <laughs> your, channel, your channel trailer uh yeah so your other ones uh so yeah. you've got the the truck in you got kev t 2020 yeah kev t london kev t oh yeah kev t london <laughs> kev t scotland yeah kev t sat nav kev t norway kev uh, t sat, Show. sat nav and norway yeah yeah, yeah kev kev knew those best. and then kev t youtube and then your instagram facebook amazon and twitter yeah 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 i I knew Norway and um, the sat nav was on there. I just, I, I, yeah, forgot about them. Just thought, I thought that'd be a quite a cool game to see what you. Can yeah, do. yeah, that's a good game. You should have given me a bit more time so I could, uh, so I could look it up. A lot of cheat, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, thank you very much for uh, for doing this with me, mate. I do appreciate. No, it. No, thanks for having me on. It's, it's been it's been really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's been nice to chat and have a bit of a catch up. Yeah, I mean, most of the stuff I knew anyway, but it's like not all of it, and it's just nice to have a chat with you, really. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to get some of the other boys to do this with me. I think Scott was interested. Yeah. Uh, Jay was interested, and Martin as well. So. Yeah, no, it'd be good. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for watching this. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Kev T. I will put a link in the description so you can go check out his channel. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>